Have you been searching for flip-flops with just the right amount of arch support? Maybe you've tried a few different pairs with different combinations of arch support and cushioning, but your feet are still hurting after a long day of walking? Well, today I'm gonna to share you the secret to wearing flip-flops with arch support. So give this video a like and stay tuned. I'm gonna come right out and say it. Arch support is great when you're standing, but it's not the only problem with flip-flops. When it comes to standing all day, we definitely want some arch support. But when it comes to walking all day, that's a totally different story. And that's because of the windlass effect. The windlass effect or the windlass mechanism is a biomechanical action that happens in your foot to allow you to properly push off of the big toe. The bones and tissues in your feet act like a set of pulleys and fulcrums, tensioning the plantar fascia on the bottom of your foot and allowing you to push off through your big toe in your walking or your running stride. When you're barefoot, your windlass mechanism works great. When you're wearing regular shoes, your windlass mechanism still works. It may be limited because of the stiffness of your shoes, but it still works. But when you're wearing flip-flops, all bets are out the window. Your windlass mechanism does not work. When you're wearing flip-flops, your toes have to squeeze down on the flip-flop fabric, say that five times fast, in order to carry you along, right? And when you're squeezing your toes together, you're not gonna be able to engage the muscles that properly allow us to push off of that big toe. So we end up squeezing and lifting our flip-flops along with every step, creating fatigue in the front of the lower leg muscles. If you are gonna wear a flip-flop shoe, make sure that you choose one that has good orthotics built in, and most of the manufacturers these days have found clever ways to hide that orthotic device inside the base of the flip-flop shoe because let's face it, there's customer demand for fashion. I've linked a few of my favorite pairs of flip-flops in the description box. These are flip-flop shoes that have good arch support if you're gonna be standing all day. But if you're gonna be walking all day, you really do wanna get a different type of sandal or shoe to be able to push off through that big toe effectively. Even something like a keen water shoe or a fisherman sandal would be a better choice than flip-flops. And hey, I get it, people love their fashion, but I'm not here to dispense fashion tips, I'm here to talk about foot health. We're in this for the long haul. I don't know about you, but when I'm into my 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, I want my feet to feel and function really well. And so I limit my summertime flip-flop use to times when I know I'm not gonna be walking very far. If you learned something today, please give this video a like, and if you'd like more foot health tips, you can subscribe to my channel right over here. And there's another video that you might be interested in right over here as well. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.